to reduce the darkness of hunger the light of education should reach every child and their future should be bright for this the government of india has been running a nationwide campaign since august 15th 1959 which is called the midday meal scheme so that the physical and mental development of any child does not stop due to hunger and malnutrition and concentration should remain in studies the midday meal program is the largest school meal program in the country at present 11.8 crore children are served lunches through 11.20 lakh government and government aided schools and education guarantee scheme centers in the country the main purpose of the midday meal was to improve the condition of starving children enrollment and attendance in school and tackle issues of malnutrition under this scheme children are provided with only one time food but a balanced diet uh, before mid day meal we used to eat in our homes and we have to bring uh, carriage boxes it is a burden to uh, us and it will be more difficult to our parents to getting up very early and preparing lunch boxes for us but after introducing the scheme in our schools it is very easy for us we are just waking up we are doing our works and we are coming to our school and they provide very nutritious food for us so we are very happy to get such type of food in our schools the central government spends about 11000 crores annually on the midday meal scheme this program ensures that more and more children should go to school and make their future better with this scheme more and more children are eager to go to school which has led to an increase and improvement in the enrollment and attendance of children in schools जैसे इफ आई टॉक अबाउट सम स्कूल्स लाइक वी हैव वन स्कूल जीपीएस गिनती गांव वी हैड मेट 18 स्टूडेंट्स इन मार्च 2019 एंड टुडे वी हैव बच्चे थे 110 स्टूडेंट्स द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट इज दैट ड्यू टू द टेम मील नॉट ओनली हैज एनरोलमेंट इंक्रीज इट हैज आल्सो लेड टू द इंक्रीमेंट इन स्टूडेंट अटेंडेंस ओके मध्याह्न भोजन लो पाठकों एयरपोर्ट जी अर्लियर स्टूडेंट अटेंडेंस यूज्ड टू बी लो In fact the rate of absenteeism was 50 to 60%. Now we have seen the attendance percentage going up till 90% due to midday meal scheme. The lunch prepared is also nutritious for the children. Apart from this, due to the increased level of education in schools and other facilities, there is a desire among the children to go to school and even parents are encouraged to send them to school. Earlier there was one more problem girls were not allowed to get out of houses they were expected to take care of their siblings and cook also but now they get lunch served in school premises itself thus we have seen an increase in female registration too teachers are also witnessing a positive change in the students children have now begun to focus on extracurricular activities along with studies on one hand their numbers have improved in the examinations On the other hand, their communication skills have improved. Their social confidence has raised and their awareness towards health and hygiene has increased. Jab se midday meal shuru hua hai, health benefits can be seen among the students since the midday meal has started. These students cannot get nutritional food at home. However, they get proper lunch when they come to school and they get proper cooked food at proper time which helps in their physical growth. He is actively participating in sports and also scoring good marks in exams. Statistics also show that there has been a significant difference in the attendance of children in schools through this scheme. In the approach paper of the Planning Commission for the 12th Five-Year Plan, 2012 to 17, it is said that in 2005, 11 to 14 years in school in rural India. the proportion of the unenrolled children was 6.6% which has come down to 3.5% in 2010 the proportion of unenrolled girls aged 11 to 14 was 11.2% in 2005 which has declined to 5.9% by 2010 the midday meal scheme has definitely done a lot for our children however given the size of our country much still remains to be done If we want to achieve the new goal then we will have to continue working with the central and state government NGOs communities and all social interest seekers